OK, so it's September 2024 and you might have heard recently that Chrome is going to kill off ad blockers from its browser. Now, that's not entirely true. They're also going to kill off some other apps as well, but it doesn't mean to say that you are going to lose these apps. Today, we are going to look at how you can find out whether any of your extensions in Google Chrome, any of your ad blockers in Google Chrome are likely to be affected by this cull and if they are how you can remedy that and stop them from being pulled stick around all the details coming up shortly don't forget to like this video share it and subscribe to my channel doing these three things help us make more great videos for you so as i say you might have read stories that Google Chrome is killing off the most popular ad blockers around and they might suddenly be disabled. Well, it's not only ad blockers, it's other apps as well or other extensions for Google Chrome. Now, don't worry, they're not going to completely disappear. We're going to show you how you can find out if any of your extensions on Chrome are affected and if so, what you can do about them to keep them working. Let's have a look at why Google are doing this. Now, it's not they're not just doing it for the sake of it. They're not doing it to kill off a load of apps. Now, what it is, it's the foundation on which older apps are built on. They're killing that off. And the reason is, is because they've released a new version of their foundation called Manifest 3, which has really been redesigned to improve security, privacy, performance and and trustworthiness of extensions. So it's making the whole extensions, the whole add-ons for Google Chrome a lot better, a lot safer, a lot more slick, and is really going to help us run a much better and safer system in the future. Now, it's up to the developers of the extensions or the add-ons in Google Chrome to have updated their extensions to take advantage of the new architecture that's uh, been launched. It's been around for a while, but some of the developers unfortunately haven't updated their app to be able to run on this new platform. Now, there's many reasons for that. It could be that the developers just haven't got the time. They might not even be around anymore. They might not still have the skills or like I say, the time to be able to, to change their programming to suit this new platform. You might not even have to worry. You might find that all of your apps or all of your extensions are fully compliant with the new Manifest version 3 platform and don't need to do anything. But I'm going to show you how you can check that. So let's head on over to my computer. And what we want to do is we want to open up Google Chrome. OK, and then once we're in Google Chrome, click on the three dots in the top right hand corner and then go down to extensions and then go across and left click on manage extensions. And here, as we can see at the top, it says this extension may soon no longer be supported. Remove or replace it with similar extensions from the Chrome Web Store. And as you can see, this is uBlock Origin I've got here. We've got an option here to find an alternative. OK, now there might be more than one app listed here depending on if there are more than one app that's not compatible. You might not have anything listed there. If there's not, then I would suggest just making sure that you've got the latest version of Chrome before you go any further. So click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, go down. OK, and then into help and then go to about Google Chrome. And if there's an update for Google Chrome, then it will update in this section here. But here I can see mine says Chrome is up to date. So let it update and restart it if it does need an update. But if yours is showing Chrome is up to date, then that's fine. Let's just go back to extensions. So as I say, uBlock Origin is saying that uh, it's not going to be compatible soon. It's going to be dropped. So we've got an option here. We've got a little click on find alternative. So left click once on find alternative. And there you go. There are some suitable alternatives that Chrome has recommended. Now, one of them here is uBlock Origin Lite. Now, this is a light version of the ad blocker that uh, the developer has made. So if I click on that, 
it will take me to its entry in the Chrome Web Store. So all I do is I just click Add to Chrome and then click Add Extension. And it might take a few seconds, but it's now downloading. I can just see the arrow in the top right hand corner. And then once it's downloaded, hopefully then it will automatically install. There we go. It's now showing as it's downloaded and uh, it's just about to install. There you go, it's installed. So what do we do about the old extension? Well, if I go back there to extensions and click on the three dots just to the right of the one there that says this extension may no longer soon be supported, there is an option there to remove from Chrome. So that's all I do is I just, once I've installed the new extension or the replacement extension, I just click on those three dots just to the right of it under this area here and then click remove from Chrome and then remove up there. And there we go. I've now got the latest version of that extension, which is compatible going forward. And I've still got the protection that I need and the facilities that I had before. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can find out if any of your extensions in Google Chrome are likely to be discontinued in the near future due to this new update of the Chromium architecture. Now, this also does affect other Chromium browsers as well, such as Edge, such as Opera, Brave Browser, etc., AVG and Avast browsers. They're all based on Chromium and they're likely to be dropping support soon too. I hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.